Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. In this lesson I'm going to be working on the Irish tune The Mason's Apron, um, kind of a classic Irish session tune. Uh, key of A major, which is a little um, a little less common for Irish tunes. Um, but it's a great tune, nice, nice energetic number. And I'll play it through once so you can get a sense of what it sounds like, and then I'll break it down into sections. Um, I do recommend trying to learn it by ear through the sections that I break it down into. But if you do need help, there are tabs in standard notation over at mandolessons.com, as well as play-along tracks, course play-along with, things like that. Um, there's also a couple ways to donate, which is always very helpful. Totally voluntary, but it helps me put out new lessons like this every week um, for free for people to watch and all the um, other resources on my website. But uh, let's get back to the important stuff, the tune. I'll play it through once so you can get a sense of what it sounds like, and then I'll break it down. Here we go. One, two, There's the tune, and then it would jump back in. And then I usually loop through, but I forgot to there, but hope you get the idea. All right, so breaking it down again, it's in A. Um, it's got a lot of notes. I uh, hope I don't move too fast for you, but if I do, there's you can slow down some of these sections using what I assume is in, oh, I'm bad at this. Nope, this corner. <laughs> down here, there should be a little, uh, is it there? I can never remember. Um, the little gear at the bottom of the page uh, gives you some slow down options, um, which I find really helpful when things move too fast for me on YouTube and I still want to learn things by ear. Uh, and there's always the tabs in standard notation that can help you out. So, starts with a little triplet pickup on the E string. You can do that. I, I tend to like to, in theory, go up, down, up, and then my downbeat on the first beat of the measure comes on a downbeat nice and nice and naturally, um, but sometimes I'll also do down, up, down, down, and kind of double down onto that down beat. Um, either way is fine, people do it different ways, whatever floats your boat. One, two, sounds like this. I'm gonna go all the way to there, kind of a interesting place to stop, but uh, uh, I think it'll get it'll make sense as I go on. Let's actually just stop there. Again. Next phrase. those two phrases together next phrase and don't worry it'll resolve soon let's do that again Kind of ascending scale pattern there in the key of A. Put those two phrases, uh, put that whole first half of the A part together, it sounds like this.
And then the second half is almost identical. So it is identical up to there, and then it's slightly different for the ending. Um, all right, so the ending of the A part. Let's do that a couple times. Again. Oops, I might have done that differently. I'm going to do it right this time. And right again, just for good measure. Brandon's getting a little tongue-tied there. Um, so I'll play the whole A part through twice, and you'll sort of fit it all together. It'll make more sense. One, two, three, four. Uh, sorry, one two, three. to the B section. The B section kind of has this little cross pick um, alternating between A and E string uh, movement. Um, first phrase sounds like this. Let's do it again. So it's always the fourth fret on my A string and alternating between open and two on the E string. So it does that twice. Uh, and the same rhythmic pattern with slightly different fingering. So now we have the fifth fret on our A string with our ring finger. And then it's alternating between two and four, which is nice and crunchy, something you don't get in every Irish tune. Likewise with the first part, you do two of those. Um, and then you go back to two of the first one. All right, so those three phrases uh, sound like this together. One, two, three. And actually do a little pickup into it. Uh, open two, downbeats on the four. One, two, three. And then the ending phrase is the same as the ending of the A part. So let's play the whole B part twice through. One, two, three. Again. 
And that's the whole tune. Now we've got the A and the B parts. Uh, let's put them together. Just as a reminder, the A part starts. Etc. So here we go. One, two, three. And that's the whole tune. Uh, again, if you need help, tabs, standard notation, play along tracks over at Mando Lessons, as well as a bunch of other lessons if you're having fun and want to keep learning tunes. Um, play it through one more time, a little more up to tempo, um, maybe throw in some double stops and ornamentation. If you're inter interested in double stops and ornamentation, there are some lessons over in the technique and fundamental section of the website that will help you learn how to do this to any tune. So here we go. One, two, three, one. Thanks again for watching and hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.